welcome back to the Home Recording Weekly Blog. My name is Kern, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about some subtractive EQ practices. I will be using products from IK Multimedia. They're uh, t rex S3 Deluxe Package. They're uh, more specifically their meter bar, frequency meter, phase correlation meter and their classic EQ, high and low pass filters. This is a song I've been working on and uh, really found a great use for these guitars right here. Now, although you can't really hear what's happening here, um, normally I have these panned hard left and right, and one in the center, just like to layer my guitars. Um, however, I got them all panned to the center so that I can EQ them. And I'm just gonna grab this one. Um, what I have down here is, you'll see, this is the IK Multimedia's, um, basically a metering bar. It's got the peak, perceived loudness, uh, phase meter in the center and your frequency spectrum here. So if I have the guitar soloed like I do when I play it, I'll bring this back and I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see what I'm talking about. This um, bar meter here, bar graph, whatever, it shows you exactly what frequencies are sounding and the amplitude of them. Let me turn this guitar up for you. This isn't bad. Um, I actually have two. The second of the two. It's really spiking high, and I don't like where it's spiking. I'll play it again for you here. Um, this thing's hitting, you know, close to 10K, and it which is probably okay by itself, but I'm layering guitars and instruments on top of it. So let me play that for you again here. You can really hear how high it is. I know there's a lot of broad broadband noise coming in too. Five to ten, I'm getting a little bit of information in here. So what I'm going to do is I'll pan out for you, and I'll show you how I like to clean up my audio tracks. Uh, this is the same track on the guitar, and this is the T-Rex Classic EQ. Uh, if you don't have this package, I highly recommend it. Head over to IK Multimedia, and it's pretty simple. They're called the High Cut or a low pass filter, it's the same thing. And as you see, I turned it on and then I turn the dial and it moves across as I turn it. Basically, if you know your EQs, this is your frequency range from left to right and this slope is exactly what this EQ is cutting out. So, I'll put it all the way up <clears throat> so it's not affecting any audio and I'll again play it. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more for you just so you can hear what the CQ is doing as I play it. see by rolling that high pass filter I cut out everything that was from 5 to 10. And it still sounds very very good. So basically it was all that information in the 5 to 10 uh, thousand hertz range that once you start piling up your tracks that it's going to start muddying up your high end. So this is uh, actually a pretty aggressive setting. Uh, 
Uh, I saw a great video tutorial. Uh, it's actually posted on my blog at uh, homerecordingweekly.com. If you want to head over there, um, and the guy is an engineer, and he said basically he rolls it in until he can hear it starting to take effect, and then he just backs it off a little bit, and that's the way he leaves it, using just his ears. Uh, I guess we're kind of spoiled here today because. Uh, in today's day and age because we have things like these uh, plug-in meters that we can use. So what I want to do is do a quick uh, bypass on it. You'll notice it almost drops off right here at just after 5,000. So let's go ahead and bring up my EQ again and I'll bypass it. sounded like a big difference. Let's see what we have. This is bypassed. See how that's it's hitting over 10,000 here. And again I'll bring that EQ in. I'll take it out of bypass. And let's bring it all in and see how it sounds. You know, it sounds great, and uh, it's a quick and easy fix. Uh, this has been a high pass filter, or a low, I'm sorry, a high cut or a low pass filter. Geez, I've been doing this for a while and I still get them confused. Uh, basically, a low cut filter and a high pass filter are the same thing. Uh, this over here would be your low cut. If you click here and then you bring it in the same way, pretty simple and it'll make your track sound a lot better. Now a lot of times it's hard to discern exactly what's going on in your tracks and I, I highly recommend that you uh, just simply drop this in uh, in your tracks. This is another guitar track I have kick in here. Let's say we're right. zooming for you. I've got some information way up in the high end. So what I'm going to do is real quick hit the EQ. Let me see if I can zoom this in for you. And I'm going to simply hit the high cut, which is once again a low pass filter. I'm going to dial it back. As you can see, I think right around here, but if you're not sure, bring up your uh, meter and let's see what we have. Still registering high and it still sounds high to the ear. So what I'll do for you is I'll just bring this back a little bit until I, I'm actually going to play it as I go. Also going to add a low cut filter, or a high pass, just get rid of some of the bottom end. That's what you want to see, a lot of mid-range, a little bit of highs, maybe a little bit of lows, but not too much. Uh, that's where the bass comes in. So basically, that's all I really wanted to show you guys is how I like to use my subtractive EQs to clean up my mixes. Uh, it's, it's not hard once you get the hang of it and you understand the difference between high and low pass and high and low cut. Same uh, animal, just a different name. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have the high gear software or an engineer's training to do it. You can just use your ears and uh, achieve better audio every time. Thanks for stopping by the Home Recording Weekly. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, but if you swing over to the homerecordingweekly.com, you'll see my blog, and that's where you can learn more about my new sponsor. And I'd like to give my new sponsor a nice warm welcome. That's Rock Solid Guitar Stands Studio Furniture for the home 
or the studio or the stage. Um, all wood, very nice. It solves a great problem. Why don't you head on over by going to my blog and clicking on the little icon, the logo in the upper right hand corner. Thanks for stopping by.